Hello and welcome to another update video about the S&P 500. A few people have asked for it and there you go. Uh, just a quick update because the market is moving up as well, pretty much in line with expectations. So we are here currently in the wave five here. You can see the wave five in light blue, just to give you an idea where we are. Um, overall, that wave five will complete a higher level wave three. Yeah. So after this higher level wave three, uh, I do expect another 20% setback, yeah, um, before we then are going to move into a higher level wave five. So we are going to take a look, however, at the moment um, where we are in the very short term, because that is what interests most people. So overall, we are still in an uptrend, yeah. Um, we had the target box here on the chart in the last video. As pretty much expected, we saw a strong reaction to this target area, we didn't go below it. We um, since have moved out of it, yeah. And what does this mean now for the Elliott wave? So it basically means in my view that this higher level or this wave four low has been in, that's currently my view. Um, and within this wave four, we completed the wave C. So that was the low here when also the crypto markets did move down quite a bit and pretty much most markets did move down quite a bit. But how are we moving up now? Is this already an impulse? I think we can interpret here an impulse into this. That would be my primary expectation that we are now moving up from here. Um, I would expect, let me just open here the, um, let's just do it like that. So obviously we had the, the low in here at the wave four. Since then, I think the price did move up in a wave one yeah so what we can see here the wave one high was in my view here this one now if i add here a one so we can see that here in this case in green so we had a wave one here um that was the top after the low yeah so this is the small now this is the um part of that light blue wave five okay just to get an idea of where the prices could be heading as well so wave one and then wave two low here. That's how it's currently looking like for me. Okay, so we're coming up and um, let's see from the low here. Yeah, at around 4,223, you're coming up to that wave one high in green at, where was that? Let me just make that accurate at 4,450. And you have then come down in a wave two in a perfect FIB level uh, retracement, the 0.618 FIB level at around 4,300. We've seen a very strong reaction to it. The way this wave now moves up very much fits in line with the wave three. And um, yeah, we're currently hitting here resistance at the 1.272 Fibonacci extension at 4,500. I would though primarily expect the price to move at least to the 1.618 Fibonacci extension, and that is sitting at, so 1.618 Fib extension, that's sitting at here $4,596. So you can maybe call it 4,600. So between that and the 200%, which is sitting at 4,684. So I'm gonna give you here this as a target area, and we're gonna track the movement of the S&P 500 and see if we're actually gonna get there Personally, I would expect it normally for a wave three target, you would at least expect the 1.618 extension. That would be great news also for other markets because at the moment, for example, the crypto market is following the S&P 500 um, fairly well. There's also why we've seen some upside here in the last few days for the crypto market because the S&P 500 has been moving up and we've seen here a strong reaction to this lower target area. Now that is my primary expectation. We're currently here at a key uh, resistance level, as you've seen here with 1.272 extension, struggling a bit to get through that. Um, but I think looking at how the um, waves are doing this um, with this wave three, we should, we should get there. Maybe not in a straight line, you know, maybe not in a straight line, but at the moment it's looking fairly promising. Also on the four hour chart, the S&P 500 chart does not show uh, an overbought level so there is much more scope to move higher and on the daily as well on the rsi and the macd here on the daily is also just turning around 
further to the upside. Yeah, so the selling pressure is reducing. So I wouldn't, um, I would expect that we can actually move here a little bit higher. So yeah, I would primarily expect to get into this area here between 4,600 and 4,690 US dollars where, um, yeah, from there, we could then see a little bit of a move down again um, in another wave four. You know, you've got your wave one, two, this would be the wave three in here, the yellow target area before we come down in another wave four and then wave five to the upside, which should complete here this light blue wave five, um, which would probably be around the area of 5,000 um, US dollars. But uh, we're gonna get to that in more detail as soon as we know where the wave three is going to end. But the message here is, looking like we are currently here in an uptrend and we should see higher levels here. So um, yeah, this is basically the general target here, I would say around the $5,000 level for that blue wave five. So um, this doesn't mean it has to get there, the prices, but this would be my primary expectation that we're gonna get here uh, into this higher target range and I'm gonna keep it updated and gonna update here this um, TA in the next few days, um, hopefully tomorrow, and we'll be here with an update. Okay, hopefully you like the update about this S&P 500 uh, Elliott Wave analysis. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, bye.